everyone. I woke up not too long ago, maybe like an hour ago because today is a very important day. Eric and I are adopting a dog. <laughs> so you might be thinking, where is this coming from all of a sudden? What? This actually has been in the making for a couple months now, if not honestly, almost a year um, we have been thinking about getting a dog for a while it's just kind of been about when and where like and just all these things we had found a rescue group um, they're called last chance for Korean dogs they are located in Korea but they also do international adoptions and so we had come across this dog loved him and started the adoption process and now today is when he is coming so we are gonna go to jfk and pick him up this morning and then i guess we'll see how things go so we are at the airport and we're right now just waiting for the girl um we're a little bit unsure about how things are going but I'm sure she'll just turn up with the dog. So he's drinking out of his little water right now. I'm just gonna wait for Eric real quick, but this is the dog. This is Chopin. Very, very cute. He's a little scruffer from Korea. Try popping it out. Like, literally, just like popping it forward. Okay, let's just. Okay, before you record. Chopin. Oh, just like that? <laughs> okay. Tio. Chopin, we I was gonna say if you can get his food. Do you want me to go get his food real quick? I don't know what he's doing right now, but. Hey, get tap tap, girl, y'all. Oh my I think maybe because he's been on the crate for 14 hours, he doesn't want to go in. I just wanted to see if he would. But for now, he's just going to take a little nappy nap. We are about to go on our first walk, but we're just going to do something light. Um, a little tired, but it's okay. He's doing good. He's excited to go on the walk.
taking big steps. Henry! And then over here. Oh my god. I feel like it's been a minute since I've updated. Um, it has been a tiring past three days. It has just been a huge learning curve. I've also been extremely busy with work, so that hasn't really helped with the situation. Um, but it's been also extremely rewarding, I think. A lot of the pros and cons um, I expected, but I think it's different when you experience some of the cons. Um, but he's doing really great. He's adjusting um, pretty well, um, and he's warmed up a lot within the past couple of days. I think the biggest struggle I'm having right now is that he is barking um, at the window during the daytime only because there is construction happening. Um, so he sees like these people walking and it's like triggering him as well as the subway there is a lot of subway uh construction i think going on so then during the day they like honk the horn and he doesn't like that so we're struggling a little bit with that but i am pooped we'll probably play a little bit more and then go to sleep i look a little rough but it's okay He looks like a goat. I can see it a little. <laughs> so we've come to understand that Chopin can't have his crate by the window because he just gets too triggered by the things outside. So I think we're gonna move this here and then bring this out. We've tried a couple days and he is just really not about it. Um, I don't want to like put too much stress on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean the floor and then rearrange and then hopefully we'll be we'll be good and we can test it out and see if there's any difference. I know I look really stupid, there's Henry, <laughs> um, but it is like cold outside and Chopin has not gone for a poop. Um, I think he just wants to go outside, which is totally fine. It is like 30, which is not that bad, but I have been feeling so cold when we go on these walks, so I'm just wearing the hood. Plus, I didn't wash my hair, but yeah. This is our fit for today. He's kind of finally chilling a little. I'm still trying to work on the pulling. It's a little hard. I mean, I think I'm expecting a lot when this is like his first time being in America. <laughs> it is 6 a.m. We have Shoban here and now I've made Henry this makeshift kind of retreat area oh. um, so that he can be away from Chopin but I also can move him around um, and I'm, I just want him to feel comfortable like I feel so bad he kind of is doing like the whole floor is lava situation because on the floor is where do you go? this guy um, but we are doing the best we can I woke up at 4 <laughs> four o'clock this morning because Henry was crying, but it's okay. I have been doing absolutely the worst at vlogging the process of just adjusting Henry and 
Chopin, but as as you can see, he's just sitting here and he's exploring. This is actually the first time that he came into the room, um, like full on. He's like kind of walked in and like if anything tried to eat this plant, which he's not allowed to do. Um, but this is like the first time he's like actually doing some snooping. And he is watching, he's doing pretty well. Um, he used to bark at him a lot, um, but we've really worked on a lot of training. Um, so he's doing really good. I'm, I'm more surprised with Henry because Henry is the one that is a little bit more harder to train with stuff like that. I feel like he's just really tired and also he knows that Henry's not allowed to do anything. No, Henry. Oh, I think he might just sit here and chill. I just don't want any gurring from this one and any meowing from this one. Do we all feel good? Yeah. 